Welcome to Masterpiece Manager version 11. This video is a brief overview of some of the common functions Masterpiece has to offer and will be helpful in getting started quickly for new profiles. To see more in-depth videos on specific areas, visit our YouTube channel or the help manual found in the menu under the left, Help Manual. Let's get started. Once you log into Masterpiece, you will go straight to the dashboard. The dashboard has three main areas. Company Notes, where you can post notes for your company and staff. Global Release Notes, where we will post notes about the software, such as updates, bug fixes, or special announcements. And a monthly sales graph, which will give an overview of sales for the given month. You can see which staff you are logged in as on the top right. This is where you can also change your password or log out. Your main menus are on the left, and this is how you will navigate around the program. They are separated into categories via a drop-down and then subcategories. Let's start out with visiting our company settings and admin, company settings. There are a few settings we will want to verify and input in this section. Note the tabs on top. The first tab is the general tab and has some address fields, some text boxes, and logo that will appear on your reports such as your receipt, tear sheets, or even on your website. Next tab is the payments tab. This is where you will enter your gateway information if you integrate with one of our credit card partners of Cayenne or FrugalPay. Email tab is where you will put your main email address that will be on the receipts that are sent to your customers directly from the system or if you use the email marketing module. Be sure to have these three fields filled out before sending any emails. Purchase tab is where your consignment and commission calculations are set. This tells Masterpiece how to calculate consignment payments to your vendors. Developer settings. If you are integrating Masterpiece with your website and you have a team that is doing the integration, you will want to share the API key with them. If we are building your website, we would generate and grab the key for you. And finally, the transaction settings. The first green box allows you to set which fields Masterpiece searches in transactions. Second green box allows you to set which reports you see in the transaction dropdown, especially useful if you customize your receipt and want to change from the default global receipt to your newly customized one. For website integrations, you can set how many days to remove an item off of your website after it has been sold. Now that we have our company settings as we want them, let's look up setting up taxes. Taxes are an admin, sales tax. They are split up into three sections for the tax authority, the tax rate, and the tax type. Tax authorities are used to indicate whom the user must collect or submit sales taxes. No sales tax rates are defined here. Tax rates is where you enter the actual rate of each tax. Let's look at the local sales tax. In most situations, you will only have one tax rate, though Mashpiece can handle tier taxing as well as GST and HST. And finally, tax types. Each tax type contains a list of all tax details which apply. Be sure to check the default option if you want that tax to be the default of all new sales. Staying on transactions, let's look at pay types. Pay types are a record of how a customer pays you. Masterpiece comes with a pretty comprehensive list of all possible pay types. However, feel free to edit the names or add new ones if needed. Now let's look at the inventory list, which will be one of your main areas of focus. Items are found under inventory, item list. All lists in Masterpiece follow the same look and feel. Once on the list view, you can search, sort, and filter. To sort, just click on the column heading, and it will put in alphabetical order. Double click, and it will put in reverse alphabetical order. You can also choose what kind of data and the order you want to see the data on the list view. Just click the column option in the top right, and then check or uncheck any column names, and drag and drop it where you want it on the list. Let's say I want scan code first, and then location below item type. Once you press save, the list will automatically refresh and you can have a customized list view for each staff member. To search, press the magnifying glass in the top right and just type in what you want to search for and then press enter. Once the results are displayed, you can also export the search results to a .csv file and open up in Excel. And then once in Excel, you can also search, sort, and filter any way you want using the functions in Excel. To add any records to any list view, just press the plus icon in the top right, and then the item record will open and you can put in details about the item. Check out our adding inventory file for a more in-depth look at adding items. Also note that items are color-coded based on locations. Let me click on the item list so you can see a bigger list. So items in green are in stock, red are sold, orange for RTA, blue on approval, and yellow for lease. 
Before adding inventory, you may want to first add some categories and stock locations. Let's look at categories. The categories are a parent-child relationship with mediums, and Masterpiece comes with a default set of common categories and mediums. To add a new one, click on the Add icon in the top right, and type in the name of the category. If it is a medium you're entering, type in the name of the medium, and then check the Is Medium box, and then assign the appropriate parent category. And then just hit save. Now let's go to stock locations. Masterpiece has a set of default stock locations like stock, sold, RTA, approval, etc. that are system defined and will automatically go to that location. To enter your custom stock locations, click on add and then type in your location name. If you are importing existing data, all stock locations and categories will automatically get created in these sections. Masterpiece offers a lot of reporting options. Most of them are found under the reports category and then separated by module. Let's go to the inventory reports. All your global reports will be on top as well as a global template. You can edit an existing report by clicking on the edit icon under the action item. In the report customizer, you can do things like change the layout, edit column names, add data fields, change font colors, or just redesign the whole report. After making the changes, type in the name of the new report and click save. If you're editing a global report, you only have a save as option as it's not possible to edit a global report. You can only create new reports. You are now ready to get started in entering data. If you need help, there are some options in the help menu. Here you can see help videos with more in-depth tutorials on different areas in the program. You can read our help manual, send us an email with questions or suggestions and feedback, and if we ever need to connect and do some one-on-one -on -one training, a one-click option to do a remote connection. So those are some of the basic and most commonly used features in Masterpiece. Again, be sure to watch our other tutorial videos for more in-depth training on other features like adding inventory, contacts, transactions, email functionality, action items, auctions, and more. And we are here to help if you have any questions.